Hey everyone, Paul here with Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today, we're gonna to be gathering up some firewood. I haven't had a, a lot of opportunity here in the last several months to do much firewood work. And I'm really excited actually about firing up the wood splitter and getting to split a whole bunch of firewood. That's actually one of my favorite things to do is cut firewood and run the wood splitter. The wood splitter actually really makes things fun. Our Easton Made 916 makes short work of our firewood rounds and it produces firewood pretty quick. But today, I actually kind of wanted to showcase this trailer back here a little bit. I did a video, I don't know, it's been a year or something, maybe longer than that, about this video or about this trailer and putting this trailer together. I have used this trailer over this past time and I have not featured it too much in, the, in other videos, but we have used this trailer for everything. I tow it behind the razor and, you know, we kind of use it for a bed, so to speak, on the razor because the razor doesn't have much of an area to haul tools and, and longer materials. Our fence project was a huge project and we used this trailer pretty much every time we were working on the fence. I can haul fence posts and haul all my fence tools and fence wire, that kind of stuff. All the supplies that I need to build that fence, we were using the razor and this little trailer to do that. And I've also used it to haul in some loads of firewood. If the, if the ground's wet, you know, the tractor makes big ruts out through our hay fields. So I can actually run the razor and this little trailer out through there and it leaves very little footprint behind. So that's actually kind of what I'm doing today with it. I'm gonna gather up some firewood. It's actually really dry. I'm not really worried about making tracks, but I actually think it's more convenient to run through and grab these rounds toss them in this trailer and bring them down and put them in the firewood pile to be ready to be split up. So I've got a few places around the property that I've got some firewood logs and some places I've already got some cut up. So I'm gonna go gather that kind of stuff up and try to get as much together and move down here to the wood splitter as I can. Also, we're gonna break out some chainsaws and go ahead and saw up as much as we can and move it down here also. So today's video is just gonna be about being able to use this trailer and kind of utilize it for the purpose that I intended for and be able to take it out on the trails and even and get some logs or get some uh, trees that have blown across the trail. And I can saw those up into firewood, clear the trail and then haul it back in the razor. And this thing's so portable and you know quick to maneuver, it's a lot easier to take down a trail than it is to take the tractor. So that's a pretty good little load of wood. And I normally don't cut poplar for firewood, but this was a longer fence line and I had to cut the tree in order to run the fence where I was wanting to run it. So that's why that this one is here. And that happens a lot when we're working on the fence, I may need to move some trees in order to run that fence in a straight line. I'd rather move some stuff and get my boundaries and everything where I want it and cut a tree or two. And then, you know, poplar is not my choice firewood but it actually is not that bad either for our purpose. And I, I kind of mix it in with some coal. So, you know, it works out really good for us. We don't waste the trees. Uh, we need to cut them anyways. So it just works out all around.
there are some disadvantages of using the trailer is when you get to these bigger rounds that are just really heavy, you know, the tractor is definitely gonna come in handy for that because you can just roll up here with your bucket and get them close and you can roll those bigger rounds into the bucket without having to actually lift them and break your back because these oak rounds, these things were just cut this past fall and they are heavy. Like these rounds right here, probably, probably 100 pounds a piece or so. You have to lift a bunch of those. You know, it does get taxing on your back. So for the smaller pieces and all that, then this trailer works out great. Plus it's pretty quick to just pull up there right up beside where you need it and just toss the stuff in there. As you can see, I'm actually sitting in my front yard. Well, I can take the razor and that little trailer and run it around in my front yard. And I don't really have to worry about tearing up the ground and making big ruts and all that kind of stuff. So now we got that unloaded, uh, I'm going to actually run out to one of my trails that has a tree limb laying across the road and it's been blocking it for a while. So I'm gonna go grab the chainsaw and run out there on the trail and saw that up and what I can use for firewood, I'll toss it in here. And that way it'll open that trail back up because Tamara likes to ride the horses around that trail and right now it's blocked and she can't get out there. So I'm gonna run out there and try to get that fixed up for her. My chainsaw about fell out of the back on that hill. That's one bad thing actually about the case because I know if I just set the saw in there that I could actually set it in there on the wood and it would be secure as all get out. But that case is actually really 
you know, flat and slick. Plus it takes up a lot more space and it gives it more room to kind of slide. So when you hit a steep hill and I hit a bump, it kind of just bounced it up and made it lose grip and it about slid out the back. So hopefully I've got it fixed back to where it'll stay because I've got another big hill right here to go up. I'm gonna have to hit this one pretty hard. been working on our new fence here it's kind of where it ties in together and I've actually uh, made the new section to where I have a road that goes around the edge of the fence line on both sides so we can keep it clean and keep it mowed down and everything with the tractor. I need to get down here actually with the mower and mow the other side of the fence. I've also got a couple walnut trees laying here that when we were building the fence we took out. Those are, this one right here is actually going to be a really nice saw log. So as you can see there, we got us a pretty good couple little firewood piles. And like I said, this was all poplar over here. And then this over here was actually a uh, beech and oak. I've not ever burned beech before, but I actually have a section down in the little valley area there of the property that there's a whole grove of beech trees in there. And some of them are ginormous trees. I've been thinking about cutting some of those really big trees to kind of make room for the smaller trees to kind of start coming up and uh, kind of help them thrive a little bit. But as you can see, this trailer was super handy. You know, I can take it down there on the trail and pick up stuff like this. And it doesn't, you know, if I'm riding the trails and I pull that behind the, the razor, you know, you can cruise along, it'll cross logs and, and all kinds of obstacles. And I had a pretty rough place down there actually with the, the trailer loaded down. And you can see it, would, it actually got the razor kind of high centered and the weight behind it too wouldn't let it pull itself through even in four wheel drive and I kind of had to bump it and get a little run at it. But the trailer itself could go right through those places with the razor. So as long as the razor can get through it, then the trailer pretty much handles that kind of stuff. And it's so much handier to just grab the razor and the trailer and run down in there and, and grab a tree or grab a, a tree limb like that and cut something out of the road. You can travel faster, it's a little smoother ride, you don't have to get nearly as much stuff ready to go. 
and there's places to haul the chainsaw whether it be in the trailer or the razor either one and you know the tractor just a little tougher but now for the bigger jobs the tractor absolutely will be the way to go but anyways thanks for following along with the video today i just kind of wanted to show you know this trailer we have had it for i believe a little over a year and you know we didn't just get it and then not use it there hasn't been any videos really on the trailer so i figured i'd go ahead and make one for it to kind of just show that we've been using it over the last year and it's been holding up really well if you watch the video whenever i actually got this trailer you'll remember that the the side actually was damaged in shipping and was bent that actually hasn't caused us any problem uh, there is a little rust spot there where the paint was knocked off of it but you know i mean that really wouldn't take nothing to just you know sand it just a little bit and then spray a little bit of paint back over it but as far as structure and the trailer holding up it has been doing great you know we're actually really happy with the razor because if we want to go ride trails somewhere it's still a really fun machine but then we can just put the trailer on the back of it and have us a bed to haul things around haul tools and everything that we need so anyways that's going to wrap it up appreciate you following along thanks for checking out the video if you enjoyed it appreciate you giving it a big thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one